we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not mad, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things we are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom we have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for one another, for our church, for our human family, for our parishioners and those most in need. That the precious resource of water may be shared equitably by all, especially by those who have it in abundance, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for our Holy Father and all those who assist him that the Lord may continue to strengthen him, especially in this difficult time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for the entire human family as they face these challenging times. May the Lord come to their assistance and may they trust the word of Jesus Christ, who says, I have overcome the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayers. We pray especially for our parishioners, all of us who are homebound, that the Holy Spirit may come and be with us and teach us the wise things to do, to please God and to stay healthy and safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We also pray for those who have died, that the good Lord may grant them eternal rest in his kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We pray for all the healthcare workers and first responders, those who help those who are infected by the COVID-19, that the good Lord may be there for them and grant them the strength to continue to work for the well-being of their brothers and sisters. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Gracious Father, we give you thanks for this day, and we continue to pray that you edify our faith and make us strong for one another, that we trust in your words. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen.
creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you the fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be God forever blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you the fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink blessed be God forever Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We place before you with joy these offerings which bring eternal remedy, O Lord, praying that we may both faithfully revere them and present them to you as is fitting for the salvation of all the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, by the mystery of the Incarnation, He has led the human race that walked in darkness into the radiance of the faith and has brought those born in slavery to ancient sin through the waters of regeneration to make them your new adopted children. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration and we with all the hosts of angels cry out and without end acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. And gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, Gregory, the Auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the Lord anointed my eyes, I went, I washed, I saw, and I believed in God. And let us pray. For God will enlighten everyone who comes into this world. Illuminate our hearts, we pray, with the splendor of your grace, that we may always ponder what is worthy and pleasing to your majesty and love you in all sincerity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look upon those who call to you, O Lord, and sustain the weak. Give life by your unfailing light to those who walk in the shadow of death. And bring those rescued by your mercy from every evil to reach the highest good. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We go in the peace of Christ. This Mass is ended. Thanks be to Thanks God. Be to God.